Okay, this is my reaction to PPOV, aka Pony Point of View, and uh, yep, no idea what to expect from this premise. I mean, it could either be a total gimmick or a refreshing burst of inspiration that I'll be very happy to see, and uh, yeah, if I had to guess, I'd probably guess like somewhere in between, and probably a uh, fresh idea, a new idea for how to do this, but it, well, it actually sounds a little bit like a uh, Saddle Row Review, come to think of it, I'm wondering if that'll... Uh, be my impression while I'm watching it, but, um, anyway, yeah, it'll probably be, like, a, an attempt at a new idea, but still, um, well, probably, I, I still have no idea, but best guess, probably still come across, like, maybe a little half-baked, I mean, something like Rarity Investigates, maybe just, like, the idea is there, but, um, maybe just not, like, the idea itself is more the point than, like, how much they can do with it, but, um, anyway, we will see, I really, well, show surprised me a hundred different ways and uh, never know entirely what to expect anymore so let's just find out ready go Twilight can you slow down a bit <sighs> sorry Spike it's just Pinkie Pie Rarity and Applejack are getting back from their SeaWorld show's boat trip and I can't wait to hear all Sea about it show. I wonder what SeaWorld Animals Pony Build Ponies showcase. Cloudsdale Fight School reunion. Maybe the rest of us not going was for the best anyway. I know the three of them were really looking forward to getting out of their element. Everybody got getting that? Out of their element? I think they all just wanted to try something new. Huh. I guess a boat trip qualifies as that. My only worry is that they'll be so excited they'll talk over each other and I'll miss some of the details. Just to be safe, I may need you to take notes. Uh, right. <laughs> so, how was the trip? <laughs> well, at least you don't have to worry about them talking over each other. Okay, um, still don't know, I mean, the sight of them doing that and Pinkie Pie climbing over the train because she wants to also walk away in a different direction, that was kind of funny, but, um, yeah, it's just the, uh, throwaway lines about how nerdy Twilight is, I mean, yeah, every t those are, those started seeing, seeming gimmicky a long time ago, and, that hasn't exactly changed my mind, so let's find out. I don't know what happened on that boat trip, but once Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie have some tea and talk it out, I'm sure every pony will feel better. Which, in show language, means they won't. Gummy opalescence in Winona? <laughs> this is a surprise. Send our pets to deliver Are the messages for them. Are and Applejack with you? Mm. Sorry, She's gotten friendlier. Darling, I must decline the invitation to your soiree. While I'm sure it will be positively resplendent, there are certain ponies I'd rather not associate with at the moment. Rarity. Rarity's not coming? Uh... So I polished my scales for nothing. <laughs> so he does that now. Sorry I can't make it, but I'm still a mite upset about everything that happened on the boat. Applejack. Sorry I can't make the tea party today, <laughs> but there's a small problem with the guest list. Plus I'm right in the middle of a very important cupcake. Pinky. <laughs> Come on, Spike. Since our friends won't come here and tell us what happened, we'll just have to go to them. Right behind you. Well, it took them that long to clean up. <laughs> I'm sorry, but my mane wasn't made to support marine life. <laughs> No, Rarity. Maybe you could throw it away. Yes, I agree. Just another innocent casualty of that disastrous boat trip. About that, Spike and I were wondering what happened out there. Please, darling.
thing. I don't know if I'll ever be able to discuss it. It's far too painful. <laughs> if it's too difficult to talk about, we completely understand. Well, since you dragged it out of me, it all started at the docks. I knew Applejack and Pinkie Pie wanted to get out of their element, so I thought I would surprise them with an elegant cruise. I had brought a small bag with just a few key essentials. All right, ponies, prepare yourselves for luxury on the high seas. <laughs> that it's gonna be all the supplies in the world. air carries a portent for trouble this day. Tis a treacherous and perilous okay, journey this kind of plot. ahead of us. We sail to adventure or our very doom. I totally I forgot know, about this plot. That, you know, but your wardrobe is delightfully seaworthy. Okay, this isn't new at all, but um... <laughs> Despite Applejack's colorful seafarer attitude, I was still determined to get my friends out of their element by providing them with all the refinements of a luxury cruise. I've made sure to bring all the most delectable nibbles for them to enjoy. Ooh, I brought food too! Let's see, I've got cotton candy, taffy, circus peanuts, and lots of other super yummy stuff! Oh, Pinkie Pie, that all looks positively delectable. But you simply must try one of these cucumber sandwiches. Dig in! You had such distaste for cucumbers. Yar, har, 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 hearty, har, har, har. <laughs> hmm, that doesn't sound like Applejack. Hmm. Well, hold on, because it gets even worse. Pinky tried to lighten the mood with some fun maritime games. It's Pinata Clock. Want to give it a whack, Rarity? Oh, darling, of course. Sank, obviously. Hmm. So Applejack got some sort of sea madness and caused the boat to capsize? After all the effort I put in to provide her and Piggy with the exact luxury cruise they needed to get out of their elements, that is how Applejack thanked me. So you were stuck out in the middle of the ocean? How in Equestria did you get back? <sighs> Bye, darling. You'll have to forgive me. I'm far too emotionally drained to discuss the matter any further. Rarity, I don't suppose there's any chance you might be, uh, exaggerating things just a little? Uh, callbacks. Well, I can assure you that that is exactly what happened. And if you don't believe me, you can ask Pinkie Pie. I'm quite certain Apple her Jack's story the will be the same. Applejack's the element of honesty. So that's what Rarity said happened on the boat, huh? How are they gonna get around that? We thought there was a chance she might have <clears throat> embellished the story just a tad. So we wanted to hear about what happened from you. Did Applejack really capsize the boat? Of course not! That's just silly. There's no way Applejack could have sank the boat. I knew it! That's a relief. Because Rarity did! What? It all started on the docks. I knew Rarity and Applejack wanted to get out of their element. So I figured I'd throw them the funnest, silliest boat party ever! But I Sounds like none really of them actually wanted to get out of their element. I thought I overpacked until I saw Rarity in her t 
team of quarter ponies. Prepare yourselves for a luxury cruise. They have opulence, decadence, and extravagance. That sounds fun. Ahoy, mateys! Batten down the hatches, y'all, because this here's going to be a boat ride of adventure. Eh, I can live with that. It's not what I thought Applejack would have was actually doing. sound like rarity just wait until you hear how much more unlike her she sounds i thought i'd lighten the mood with some super fun party boat games but rarity was a real wet blanket it's pinata time <gasps> want to give it a whack rarity <laughs> oh you were serious well that's adorable i'll give it a go Okay, I believe that part. Problem with Applejack. Exactly what happened. Fact, I mean, Pinkie Pie's Pinkie the only one who hasn't been blamed yet. But just to be safe, you should talk to Applejack. She'll know exactly how many porter ponies there were. Okay. But well, then the again, Rarity how did overlooked how mad Pinkie Pie was well, at her. We just... <laughs> That's it. We've got to go talk to Applejack. Good idea. She'll straighten this out. I just really yeah, just really in time to, know to not hear back. from yeah, Pinkie Pie how they I made it back. Too. Hmm. Hold on a tick. Pinkie Pie says it's Rarity's fault, and Rarity says I sank the boat? Well, that's plum crazy. If you two really want to know what happened, I'll tell you. you I suppose what Applejack Pinkie thinks is the truth get out of their element? could well, I brought a treasure map to give them a get around her element of honesty face. thing. But they had other ideas. La la la! Prepare yourselves for the most luxurious boat outing that ever outed a boat. And more fun than you can shake a stick at. Because I brought a stick. <laughs> All right, mateys. But just y'all wait till you see the high seas adventure I've got. Oh, Pinky comes play. across to Applejack. <laughs> in a treasure hunting adventure and more interested in snacks. Oh, darling. That food isn't fit for a pony of proper breeding, darling. And refinement, darling. Now my cucumber sandwiches on the other hook. Betcha I can fit them all in my mouth. Uh, Pinky, darling, please. Okay. 
and she thought Applejack did it on purpose. Oh, uh, rarity, I... Too. You want to say it or should I? I'll go. That sure doesn't sound like Rarity or Pinkie Pie. Oh, it gets a sight worse than that. I don't know. It doesn't like. It sounds a little. Like, is it like harsh? But. Whacking time. Oh, darling, whacking is a base pastime for common ponies. Doesn't interest me in the least. Rarity and Pinky's fault? Yep. And maybe if they ever apologize, I'll consider talking to them again. Mm -hmm. If they all blame each other, I don't know how we're gonna get them to talk again. Neither do I, Spike. Neither do I. There's gotta be some way to fix this. If Applejack, Pinkie Pie, and Rarity keep not talking to each other, they could forget what good friends they really are. I just don't get it. All of their stories are so different. We're never gonna figure out what really happened. Their resolve. stories were different, but they also had a lot in common. I guess. They were all in a ship that sank, and that's about it. Not quite. Don't spell out what we can probably assume. Only do I think I know how the boat sank. I have a pretty good idea how to get Rarity, Applejack, and Pinkie Pie back together. Get the band back together. I hope this plan of yours works. <sighs> Winona brought me your note about a friendship emergency. <laughs> how can I help? Obsolescence oh, delivered your message, Twilight. What's the emergency? It's a good thing we're time for coming back. We're late. <laughs> What's she doing here? Sorry, but I just didn't know how else to get the three of you here together. And there really is a friendship emergency. Yours. Oh, there's no emergency. I like. I'm just waiting for an apology. Not the element of honesty. Apology? What? Why would you want me to apologize when it was Rarity's fault? What are you talking about? Applejack clearly caused the boat to sink. She stranded us in the middle of the ocean. <sighs> Will somebody please tell me how you made it back? <laughs> well, maybe it wasn't the middle of the ocean. <laughs> Even so, I don't appreciate being hornswoggled into coming back here. On that, at least we agree. Yeah! I know you each have a different perspective on how the boat capsized and blame each other. But if you come on the boat with me, I'll show you what really happened. Well, not that I have any doubts, but it will feel good for every pony to see exactly whose fault it was. I think we all know which pony is about to be proven right. We sure do. Like I said, I sure hope this works. <sighs> I'm wondering how they're gonna play this exactly. Uh, <laughs> whatever you're looking for, I hope you find it soon. Don't worry, Spike. I've got it all under control. While all of your stories seem very different, they all had something in common. Cucumber sandwiches. Mm. What in the hay does that have to do with anything? And why would you waste a perfectly good order? You also mentioned the bubbling water. 
And the swell. Cucumber just happens to be the favorite food of the trihorned bunyip. And bubbles, followed by a swell, <laughs> is what bunyip. happens when they swim up to the shallows from deep water. So, we attracted a trihorn, whatchamacallit, with cucumber sandwiches. Sounds like a stretch. I did not see that coming. So, that's a, a trihorn bunyip, who's very sorry he accidentally knocked over your boat, right? Wait, the storm had nothing to do with the capsizing? Nope. All right. Even if our friend the Bunyip is responsible <laughs> for sinking the boat, still doesn't excuse a certain pony's behavior. Me? How about you and Pinkie Pie? What? No, me? No. I think I can explain that too. Each one of you spent so much time trying to come up with the perfect way to get the others out of their element that you didn't notice your friends were doing the same thing. Wait a minute. You brought all those games and things for us? Of course. I figured yes. the boat trip was the perfect time oh, to do cheesy. things that were silly and fun. And I was just trying to give the two of you the elegant cruise I thought you deserved. And I just wanted to give you two a high seas adventure, since that'd be something new and different for y'all. Oh! I can't play it like they sweet. just didn't realize it's that. So much trouble. That's a well, little... not half as much trouble as you did making all that fancy food and bringing all those games. I guess this just teaches us that even longtime friends need to work at communication. Well, there's something I'd like to communicate to you all right now. You girls are the best friends a pony could ever have. Oh, let's never fight again. The you brain. got it. <laughs> all right, you big softy. Bring it in. <laughs> Okay, well, that episode certainly had its perks. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, I, I don't know what I was expecting that uh, was just never led me to uh, think of the fact that, yeah, I've seen this plot plenty of times. But I mean, I guess I was just expecting her to be going, like, back and forth, like, from one friend to the next and then back and, like, trying to sort it all out or something like that. I mean, I don't know, the title might have thrown me off, Pony point of view, I mean, I, I guess, I don't know, maybe I was expecting the mystery of what happened to be more of the point, but, uh, no, that's a very old plot, the whole, um, yeah, three, like, there was an accident, and we, uh, don't see what happened, or on rare occasions sometimes we do, and then we see how everyone's perspective, uh, goes crazy later, but, um, okay, I wasn't really sure how they were gonna play it from that, I mean, I did have fun at least with, um, Everybody, uh, what, just, like, giving their impressions of how annoying the other one is, and just, you know, embellishing little details, like, I mean, Rarity, um, saying she packed light, and then everyone else, uh, yeah, assuring Twilight that that wasn't the case, I mean, that was, that, that's a small example, but I mean, that's, that's a good one, just stuff like that, where you can basically pick up on who's, um, giving themselves a little extra credit. Actually, can Rarity story. I kind of loved how she just, like, Applejack saying a few, I don't know, like, sailor-esque lines, like, just trying to, um, get them in the mood for it. How that, in Rarity's perspective, became Applejack as a pirate totally out of her mind, which, uh, okay. But, um, so, yeah, just a lot of fun touches like that. I did not know where they were going to go with it, if it was just going to be, like, Twilight... Um, going through what we basically already knew, like, well, um, here's the part where, uh, the other two sound like they're basically giving a good impression of the third character, and where the third character doesn't make sense at all, just, like, boringly piecing it together. I'm very glad they didn't go that route, and, uh, 
the reveal of the bunny hip was amazing. <laughs> uh, for those of you who don't know, like the uh, bunny hip is one of many legendary creatures who uh, has never actually been confirmed, and there's like dozens of different perspectives of, or accounts rather, of what it actually looks like, and the reason uh, pe most people speculate as to that um, is that it probably did start out with an animal sighting just way, way back in countries where animals that hadn't been seen before started showing up. Like, I think, uh, there's this one bit of speculation, I, I cannot tell you, um, when or where, but, uh, yeah, just like these seals might have been migrating to a new location and then they, um, jump out of whatever body of water they were in and people see them and, what the heck are those? And then... Yeah, enough sightings of enough strange creatures eventually becomes the legendary bunyip. But, uh, okay, but I mean, yeah, that was, I, wow, it has been a long time since they've made use of the, uh, sort of the mythical lore and the, um, yeah, exotic creatures and stuff. The, yeah, like, exotic creatures of legend, so, okay, really appreciated that, just the sheer reveal of it, like, <laughs> that was amazing, and then they have that, like, standing right next to them, like, Okay, well, that fixes part of the problem, but, um, while we're on the subject, how about the friendship problem here, which, um, I mean, okay, and I mean, you know, and, and I realize that a bunyip isn't just, like, a great solution to a friendship problem, like, when you're disagreeing with your friends, well, maybe it was just a bunyip, but, you know, it, it doesn't always need to be, it can be a little freeform like that, and, you know, sometimes, uh, stuff happens, sometimes things just go wrong, and it was nobody's fault, and, uh, that was kind of fun, and I mean, and it's, you know, maybe, um, friends were a little insensitive, but, you know, and stuff like this, everybody has a reason for what they do, like, it doesn't need to be, um, a key piece of, like, um, a, a key dramatic revelation, or anything, just like, hey, understand that everybody, well, the problem was they almost tried to play it like a dramatic revelation, like, Oh, you were just trying to do what was best for us, but I mean, but I, I just like basically to end it just right. I think all they would have had to do is alter that into like you realize that everyone was trying to do what was best for you. Get was trying to uh, give you guys help you guys have a good time, right? And like, well, yeah, I guess, and that probably would have ended it just fine. So I mean, um, I don't know. I mean, it's not like an uproarious episode, just like this comedic masterpiece or anything like that, and I mean, I, I don't think it's gonna, like, rock anyone's world on a dramatic level either, but I mean, it was fun, it was all thought out, it was, I mean, a classic plot with these characters inserted, and I mean, and I think the thing about this plot is, I mean, uh, there are only, well, I don't know if you're ever going to take it to, like, the next level, because it sort of makes room for the characters to be however crazy they are, but, um, I mean, I don't know, maybe they could have made it, like, even crazier, and maybe had even more fun with it, but, I mean, what they came up with was pretty enjoyable and very characteristic of everyone involved, so, um, I mean, and I, like I said, I was wondering if it would feel too gimmicky, and I mean, well, it is a gimmick story, actually. <laughs> it was almost the exact opposite of what I thought in that case. Like, it's a story we have seen before, but it, uh, well, it's one that makes room for a lot of freeform, and that's just what they did with it for the most part. I mean, like, maybe not on a phenomenal scale, but you know, they had some fun with it. And they only really went kind of gimmicky at the end in the resolution, like I said, but, um, yeah. It was fun. It was, uh, um, Pretty creative, it, like I said, fit all the characters involved, and I had a good time with it, and thoroughly good episode. So, um, okay, um, and that's, yeah, another, another one that was above the standard for season six, so, uh, I don't know, comeback-ish, I mean, I, know, I still think it's gonna come out to, on my scorecard to be the worst season, but, um, I mean, if we have episodes like this the rest of the way out, I certainly won't complain, so, uh, Okay. Uh, anyway, I think that's pretty much it, and uh, hope you're having a good week. Talk to you later.